Hello guys and welcome to this channel. Today we're going to show you a plain project management tutorial and review. If you're tired of juggling complex project management tools that feel more like a core than a help, then you are in the right place. Today we're taking a deep dive into plain.so, a modern open source project management tool that's been getting a lot of attention for its simplicity and flexibility. Okay, so what is exactly plain? Plain is an open source project and project management tool designed to be simple, extensible, and adaptable to your team's unique workflow. Think of it as a powerful alternative to tools like Jira, Asana, or Trello, but with a focus on a clean, intuitive user experience. It is available as a cloud-based service, or you can also self-host it for complete control over your data. All right? Something good, guys, is that you can just try it for free in here. If you just click on this button, okay, then it's gonna ask you to basically, you know, fill in the details of your company, like your, you know, uh, what do you do, the size of your company, and it's gonna ask you to create your first workspace, okay, which we're gonna see later, all right? But then you're gonna be welcome to this dashboard in here, as you can see. If you want to create a new workspace, just click in here and click on create a workspace, okay? And that's going to take you to this little page, so you can just create it. In my case, I'm just going to use this testing one, uh, you know, workspace. And you can also delete it by going to settings and then going to delete this workspace if you want to delete it sometime. So let's imagine a very common project and scenario. Let's launch a new website, okay? Let's imagine that we are a small team building an online art portfolio. And the first thing that we need to do, of course, is to create our first project, okay? So let's click in here. Let's click on create a project. You can also come to the project section in here and you can just click on add a project, okay? So let's give this a name. Let's click on create project. In here, I'm just gonna take all of these boxes. These are gonna be the functionalities of my project. And I'm also gonna take in, you know, the time tracking. But in order to do this, you need uh, actually a premium plan, okay? Like a pro plan, okay? After you're ready, just click on open project. Now, of course, this app wouldn't be very useful if you couldn't invite your teammates, okay? So let's actually do that. Let's go to the home page and let's go to invite your teammates. Let's get them in. And now you can just click on add a member in here and you can start typing the email of that member and you can set his permissions, whether you want him to be a member, a guest, or an admin, okay? Depending on if it's an employee, if it's your, you know, founder or something like that, okay? So you can just type how many employees you want in here. Now, guys, let's go back to our project, okay? Website launch. Let's click in here and let's click on work items. The fundamental building blocks in plain are issues and they are also called work items now, okay? These are gonna be your individual tasks. You can quickly create issues for everything that needs to get done. For our website, I will create issues for designing that homepage, developing users authentication, and writing the about us page. Okay, so let's click in add a work item in here, guys. So let's just add like a description and a title, as you can see in here. We can also add different commands using this backslash in here, similar to how Notion works, okay? So you can add like a heading, like a to-do list, like a bullet list, and so on and so on. Similarly, you can use this AI to kind of get like a description for this project. And based on your company and the details and all of that of your project, you know, the AI is gonna try to generate like a description for this, okay? So if you click, if you click on I'm feeling lucky, this is what it's gonna generate in here. You can also click on AI and it's gonna do something similar, but you have to give it like a prompt, okay? Like a description of what you wanna generate, but it's gonna be the same, basically. Now, the most important part in here is probably the ASIC, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on ASIC needs, and you can assign, uh, you know, your team members to these projects, as many as you want. In my case, I'm just gonna assign myself. There we go. And I can also assign like a star date, which can be, for example, today, I don't know. And a due date, which can be, for example, I don't know, in like tomorrow, maybe, I don't know. So yeah. And whenever you're ready, guys, you can just click on save. Now there's something that is called like parents, and that's gonna be, you know, if there's a higher priority task that you're doing, you can assign this subtask to the higher priority task, okay? Something like that. But it's not very important. The most important thing is the assignees and the due dates, all right? So let's click on save in here. I forgot to mention that you can assign a priority. If you click on this button here, I'm gonna assign like a urgent, okay? And it's gonna look like this. 
Let's add one more work item, which is going to be basically, I don't know, authentication of users. Okay, I like to create a system to authenticate users. In this case, I'm also going to sign myself and I'm going to sign a due date in one week. Okay, so let's click on save in here. And that's going to be like, you know, low priority. Now, also, guys, to manage our working time box periods, plenty uses cycles, which are essentially sprints. Let's gonna let's first create our first cycle in here. And we're just gonna call this sprint one, two weeks. Okay, this is gonna be like the duration. And we're just gonna create it like this, guys. It's gonna be very simple. And what we can do now is we can drag our work items, our tasks, our issues to this particular cycle that we just created, okay? So let's click in here. I'm just gonna click on this button and then I'm just gonna sign it to here, as you can see, all right? After you complete one of these tasks, you can just click on this backlog button in here and you can set the progress to, for example, done, okay? Or to cancel or in progress, okay? In my case, I'm just gonna set this to done and this to in progress. And if we go back to our cycles, look what we have in here. We have this very same work items, but one of them is, is gonna be completed. So it says here 50%, all right guys? For larger ongoing work streams, Plan also offers the modules, okay? So you can create like a content creation model and things like that, okay? And group all of your tasks together in that particular uh, module, okay? And guys, uh, last but not least, do not miss out on the pages section. Here you're gonna be able to write like new documents and full knowledge bases for your whole team to read, okay? Like certain notes about how your progress in a certain task or project is going and things like that, okay? This is similar, this is similar to Notion basically, this is the same, okay? So yeah, guys. So, on the plus side, Plain's user interface is incredibly intuitive and has a minimal learning curve. The flexibility to use different layout like lists and Kanban boards is a big win. The open source nature and the option for self-hosting provide great control and data security. The free plan is also very generous, it's gonna like you to invite your teammates and things like that. Okay, so I think it's a pretty good option. The only cons is my opinion is that Plain is a powerful tool, but it might like some of the very advanced enterprise level features that you could find in other software. Okay, still I would recommend that you try it. Thank you so much, guys.